Hey guys, how are you doing? Another stunning day uh, in New Zealand that, um, as I said before, makes everything so much easier, um, so much easier in the mornings. Anyway, first, uh, today's video, okay, is just about uh, having some patience. Um, and we, um, most, most of us anyway, if you're a bit like me, are pretty impatient. And <clears throat> um, it's something I've had to learn over time. And um, you know, when certainly when I was trying to get fit and lose weight, and um, you know, even even perform better, such as doing pull-ups and press-ups, because I couldn't do any of those things when I when I first started, um, it was essentially to, you know, everybody wants it now. Everybody wants it yesterday. And what you got to understand is is that you've neglected your body for so long. You've neglected your eating habits. You've neglected your exercise, you've neglected your health essentially for such a long time that when you decide that you need to make a change, you're just completely frustrated and you want it now, you want it yesterday. You, you don't want to have to work, you don't have to want it, you don't want to have to um, you know, wait for it. Um, and essentially, if you think about it, it didn't take you three weeks or two months to get in the state you're in. So if you're overweight, um, you know, and I'm talking like 10 kilos plus overweight, um, you know, it didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen in five minutes. It happened over a period of time. And in some cases, it may have taken you a couple of years to get there. So you just need to understand that it isn't gonna, it isn't gonna come off um, in a short space of time. So, well, you know, you can do a fad diet, you can drop weight very, very fast, but it isn't healthy. And you, know, you want to be in a position where you've lost that weight long and keep it off long term. Because what, it, you know, I've said to you, what's the point in losing it really quickly just to gain it back and even more again? Um, and you gotta understand that patience is absolutely the key. That when you start, isn't necessarily gonna be how you maintain. So when I started off, I was doing tons of like real massive high intensity workouts. Um, you know, and as a result, I hurt my knees. I've had, had multiple knee operations in between that. I've hurt my shoulder. Um, and all of a sudden then, you gotta change tact. Um, and you know, to maintain what I was doing, I had to change my nutrition slightly, I had to change my training slightly, and that's gonna to happen to you too. So what works at the beginning isn't necessarily gonna work halfway through or even near the end because your body changes. And, if, and when you start to lose weight, a lot of people don't understand this, is that actually you need, to, you need less calories then. So just because you started off um, on, you know, on a bit of a calorie deficit, if you like, and, you know, you're gonna hit a plateau somewhere along the line and you definitely will. There's no ifs or buts about it. And it's because your body gets used to the calories you're taking in. So then you need to reduce and need to change and need to change tact, okay? So, what about, what, you know, so like I said about patience, you need to be patient with it. You need to just keep on nutting away and you need to be prepared for days that are not so well. You need to be prepared for plateaus and you need to be prepared for little setbacks. But, you know, over time you will start to to learn about your body, which is something we're very out of tune with. We don't know what we can do. We don't know what works because we've never really done it long enough. Um, and once you get all that information and data, you can really sort of tweak and hack your own kind of diet, your own kind of life. So it becomes much easier. So I know personally that if I put my calories much over 2,600 calories, Currently, with what I'm doing with my activity levels on my gym, I will put body fat on. There's no doubt about it. I know that, but I also know that if I can keep my calories under 2,500 um, and anything between 2,000, 2000 and 2,500, I know I'll maintain my weight fairly easily based on what I'm doing. If I was um, uh, well even prepared, or even if I wanted to up my activity levels. I know I could eat more. It's as simple as that. But I know my own body now, and I know what I can do and what and what what suits me. And that's a position you need to be in to understand. Um, and when I talk about my fitness pal all the time, you know, you don't have to use it forever. Once you start doing it and you start to become aware of your eating habits and your training habits, you just intuitively know what it is that you need to do. You don't have to track anymore. And then if, if just say, you know, weight starts to creep on a little bit, then you can jump back in and you know start tracking again. But it's not necessary to do it forever. Um, so you guys, you've got to have patience. Um, like I said, you've neglected yourself for such a long time now, it's gonna take a little bit of work um, to get to where you want to get to. Um, and you know, you might get sucked into those quick fix, quick diets. Please don't do it. Please don't get sucked into it. Um, you know, there's, there's a, a much sustainable and better way to do that, okay? And, and it's something I practice and, and I preach to my clients as well. 
Um, like I said, guys, if you want any help or if you want some advice, just let me know. Um, you know, you can contact me, uh, drop a comment below. I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you. Um, I don't pump these videos out to get tons, tons of sales and sell you training packages. I'm genuinely, genuinely here to try and help you guys um, get back on track. And to be honest with you, a lot of the free guides I've got, even if you just did those, you'd probably, um, you'd probably be perfectly fine for a little while anyway. But um, you know, if you want genuinely want to have a chat about where you are and, and how to move forward, just 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 hit me up. I'm happy to uh, happy to discuss it with you. Um, and uh, and yeah, guys, like I said, uh, start fresh. If you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers.